Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up everyone, this is OJ. The battle ram is kind of like a hog, as it completely ignores regular units and will only target buildings dealing 250 damage if it's not charged. When it is charged though, it deals double the damage. When the ram connects to the building, it self-destructs and spawns two barbarians. This charge is like the Prince and Dark Prince mechanic where it starts off with a medium speed and charges into a very fast speed. The charge occurs slightly later than a Prince. Its charge speed in the game are the most resistant to the tornado suction. The ram itself has 756 health. If you can manage to kill the ram before it reaches the building, the barbarians will spawn at full health. Think of it as a shield over their heads. Kind of like guards and prince. Even if you rocket the ram itself, the barbarians will come out at full health. This essentially introduces another hard counter to Sparky. She's going to have an even tougher time in the arena. The barbarians that spawn are not related to the ram itself. So if you freeze a battle ram and kill it, the barbarians will not spawn frozen. The barbarians from the battle ram scales exactly the same like barbarians that spawn from a barbarian hut, meaning a rare level 7 battle ram will spawn common level 9 barbarians. All building targeting units like a golem, hog, giant, and ice golem all have a 7 tile or more sight range. This means you can pull them with a 4-3 plant, which is 4 tiles from the river and 3 tiles from the arena tower. The battle ram does not have the same sight range, it has a 5.5 tile sight range. This means if you try to do the same 4-3 plant against the golem or a giant, it will not attract to a cannon and it will completely bypass it in the other lane. This means to pull it with a building you'll need to do a 4-2 plant. This is what sets the battle ram apart from all of the other building targeting units. It can bypass a building in the other lane. The sight range is 4 tiles shorter than a hog. This means even with a building plant 3 tiles from the river, it will still bypass a building. So it's always safer to plant it reactively in the same lane that it's approaching you. Since it only targets buildings, it is possible to use it like an ice golem to kite units into the other lane, but it's quite expensive and very situational when you need to do this. It has the same weight as a prince, so it can push anything in front of it pretty effectively. Like if you put an executioner or a valkyrie in front, it'll travel faster while protecting the ram. When building a deck for the battle ram challenge, you're going to need to include battle ram counters since every opponent will have one. A knight can counter it fairly well. If you plant the knight in the middle, it will be enough to stop the ram from connecting to your tower, but the barbarian will still deal quite a bit of damage. Whereas if you plant the knight in front of the tower and just embrace the ram's love, the knight will tank the barbarians, mitigating more damage from being dealt to your tower. Again, this is very situational and depends what else you have in your deck to respond to this. But if you combo the knight with anything else, even a little ice spirit, it'll be enough to take out the ram and barbarians entirely while remaining alive. Stuns from a zap, lightning, or electro wizard's attack will reset its charge. The zap will stop it from dealing double damage to the tower if you're in a pinch and absolutely can't afford that extra 200 damage to your tower. The Electro Wizard is absolutely savage against the Battle Ram. He completely counters this card and the Barbarians that spawn from it. And now you'll have a card on the map that can counter attack. If you're really in the lead and you can afford a negative trade, or you just need to defend for the last 5 seconds of a match, you could Lightning the Battle Ram and the Delayed Bolts will target onto the Barbarians that spawn, wiping everything out. The Battle Ram is not affected by knockback from Fireball or Bowler, however, the log is supreme and will knock back the battle ram. This resets its charge attack and immobilizes the ram with its pushback long enough for the arena tower to completely take out the ram. Since the log kind of rolls slowly, you can time it so that it takes out the battle ram and the barbarians that spawn underneath it. Double dipping on the damage and pushback effect. Assuming your opponent doesn't have an executioner in their deck, you can use guards to completely stop the battle ram and the barbarians. Goblins are incredibly effective at taking out the battle ram and the barbarians that spawn as well, but they're much more vulnerable to splash attacks and aren't a good answer against the battle ram that's supported with back end units. I have a feeling that the executioner is going to be a very popular card in this challenge, so a mini P.E.K.K.A is an excellent choice because it can hard counter the executioner or the battle ram. Like I said earlier, the battle ram has a 5.5 tile sight range, which is the same as a knight, so you'll need to do a 4-2 plant to pull it. 
Tombstone works relatively well in absorbing the Battle Ram and the spawn skeletons are enough to deal with Barbarians. This is assuming the Battle Ram is alone and not supported with any splash units like Executioner. Otherwise, buildings like a cannon, Tesla, or bomb tower will be more effective at taking care of the Battle Ram. One interesting combo is the Miner. You can have him sent into tank for the Battle Ram to ensure the Ram survives long enough to connect to the tower. Or if you know they don't have enough damage to destroy the Battle Ram before it reaches your tower, you can use the Ram itself as a tank, then send in the Miner for even more damage. Stay tuned if you want to learn more about basic interactions.